Come on, give him some praise this morning. Come on, if you're thankful for the blood this morning, give him some praise. No, oh, come on, aren't you thankful for the mercy of God this morning? Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Oh, man, come on, aren't you thankful for the blood this morning? Aren't you thankful that he never let you go? Jesus, Jesus, we are so glad to have everyone here on this Sunday morning. You know, I was thinking this week, my sister actually sent me some of the, the funny memes on Facebook, and it was about different characters in the Bible, and there was one that, that stuck out to me, and it was when Isaac was headed up to the mountain with his father Abraham, and he's looking for the sacrifice, and there's no sacrifice, and you know, you know how memes are, it's a funny face, like where's the sacrifice, and you know, that, that stuck with me, and I started thinking about it from the perspective of Isaac, could you imagine Isaac carrying all this, going with his father Abraham, taking all the wood and all the burnt, taking everything up to the top of a mountain, and realizing that he is supposed to be the sacrifice, can you imagine Isaac being tied down upon the altar, watching as his father raises the knife above him, getting ready to sacrifice him to God? Can you imagine the, the fear in Isaac? Can you imagine Isaac figuring out this is the moment that God is going to kill me? This is the moment that my life ends. And we can imagine when the, the relief he felt when finally he, the angel stopped Abraham and the ram came out of the thicket. And, and we can imagine the relief. But it would be so easy for Isaac to get bitter at God. It would be so easy for Isaac to turn against God. And God, you tried to kill me. And God, God, you tried to ruin my life. And yet Isaac understood that it was what he went through that enabled the blessings to fall upon Abraham, upon Isaac, upon Jacob, and Esau. It was, the bless it was what he had to go through that enabled the blessings of God to fall on his life. And upon us today. See, God, you go through things in your life where it looks like God is getting ready to kill you. It looks like God is squeezing you. It looks like God is giving up and, and you're at your end and God is getting ready to toss you to the side. And yet it's what you're going through that is gonna, God is going to use to bless you. What you're going through is what you've got to get to to get to the other side. You've got to go through the death. You've got to go through the darkness. You've got to go through the pain in order for God to bless your life, in order for the light of God to shine in the midst of your darkness. Don't give up this morning if it feels like God's killing you. Don't give up this morning if it feels like God's squeezing you past the point of your strength. God is getting ready to move in your situation. God is getting ready to bless you. God is getting ready to deliver. God is getting ready to heal your situation. Oh, come on. Somebody give God praise for what he's about to do. Come on, give him praise in the midst of your fire, in the midst of your hell, in the midst of your darkness. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh man, I'm telling you, we're so excited for what God is going to do in this house this morning. Turn to your neighbor, shake someone's hand, greet them, and let's let God move in this place this morning. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. We are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to see the King. No more dying there. We are going to see the King. No more dying there. We are going to see the King. No more dying there. We are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. 
soon and very soon we are going to see the king soon and very soon we are going to see the king soon and very soon we are going to see the king hallelujah hallelujah we're going to see the king no more dying there we are going to see the king no more dying there we are going to see the king no more dying there we are going to see the king hallelujah hallelujah we're going to see the king soon and very soon we are going to see the king soon and very soon we are going to see the king soon and very soon we are going to see the king hallelujah hallelujah we're going to see the king hallelujah hallelujah soon and very soon we're going to see the king you know i can see uh, more every day the signs of his returning hallelujah you know, there's one thing that we've uh, God to console us is that we're saved by grace. Saved by grace. I've been saved by grace. My name is in the book of life. My sins are washed away. Saved by grace. I've been saved by grace. It's not what I deserve, but I'm saved by grace. I was alone in the darkness, I could not find my way, till Jesus shined his light on me, and turned my night to day, saved by grace, I've been saved by grace, my name is in the book of life, my sins are washed away, saved by grace, I've been saved by grace, it's not what I but I'm saved by grace Now when I reach that city The gates swing open wide I'm gonna sing redemption story Of how I rock to the other side Saved by grace I've been saved by grace My sin life My sin are washed away Saved by grace I've been saved by grace it's not what I deserve but I'm saved by grace now when I reach that city the gates swing open wide I'm gonna sing redemption story of how I drop to the other side saved by grace I've been saved by grace my name is in the book of life my sins are washed away Saved by grace, I've been saved by grace. It's not what I deserve, but I'm saved by grace. I was alone in the darkness, I could not find my way till Jesus shined his light on me and turned my night to day. Saved by grace, I've been saved by grace. My name is in the book of life, my sins are washed away. Saved by grace, I've been saved by grace. It's not what I deserve, but I'm saved by grace. Saved by grace, I've been saved by grace. My name is in the book of life, my sins are washed away. Saved by grace. I've been saved by grace It's not what I deserve But I'm saved by grace Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah Thank you, Jesus Hallelujah Praise God You know, I can, I can remember back when I was uh, First filled with the Holy Ghost and, and I like to talk about that how the Lord saved me and filled me with the Holy Ghost. Praise God. I love to thank Him for it. Hallelujah. 
I love to tell how Jesus saved my soul when I was lost and facing dark despair. But mortal tongue could never tell the whole. No, thank Him for such wondrous love and care. Oh, He is more than all the world to me. He's the dearest friend that I have ever known. And it will take the whole eternity to thank Him for the love that He has shown. Sad, he brings me hope and cheer. He gives me grace when the way is rough. How could I thank him for such blessed tears? My life on earth will not be long enough. Oh, he is more. I should live a thousand years below and praise the Lord from dawn to set of sun. Still that would not be time enough to show my thanks to Him for all that He has done. Oh, He is more Can we worship the Lord this morning? Mm, hallelujah. Mm, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Brother Green is going to come and pray over a few needs we have this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Church, let us pray. But first, I'd like to mention a few names. We want to continue to pray for Larry Gargas and his speedy recovery. Elliot Parr, get for her to get well. Mike Sheffield's family, all right. And Sister Jackie, it's good to see you back because we had you in our prayers last week, so we're glad Miguel and Jackie and their families here. Uh, we'd like to lift up Brian's family. There's several th ones in this family that's been sick. It just seems to me making a circle over and over and over. Oh, yes. And Alan, it's good to see him and his family here today. Last week, uh, a new 
person come in, Michael Antrip. We're glad to see him come back. We want to thank Brother Shelton for making the driveway safe. Yes. Whatever your problem is, whatever your need is, it matters to God. So when you come to Him, come to Him expecting. So as I pray, church, pray with me. Lord, we thank You, Father, for that You the Son, Lord Jesus, that He paid the price for these things that are before us. Whether it be a sickness in the health, or whether it be a mind problem, or whether it be anxiety, depression, or whatever is upon You, we ask You, Lord, to bless this people and these names that we've mentioned, O oh Lord. For You are the healer. For You shed the blood that we are healed and saved. You carried the cross up the hill, O oh Lord Jesus. We can thank You through all eternity, O oh Lord, and it would not be enough. We ask You to continue to touch the ones that are not mentioned, the prayers of sil those that are have prayers of unspokenness, O oh Lord Jesus. You know what they are. You, you know every move that we do. You know every thought that we have, Lord Jesus. Keep us, O oh Lord, in this time of trouble. This world is a tough place to live now, and it's just going to continue to get tougher. So ground yourself, O oh people, in the, in the Lord. For it is only through Him, Lord, that we can, through You, Lord, that we can make this. For You are our giver, You are our provider, You are our healer, Lord. We ask that the needs of all these people be met, because we come expecting. Oh, Lord Jesus, we praise You and we thank You, Lord Jesus. Psalms 37, 5 says, Commit thy way unto the Lord. That is the first step. Trust in Him is the second. And He shall bring it. So whatever the it is of the sickness, O oh Lord, we ask that You cover it with the blood and through the power and authority of Your name, Lord. We speak these healings over all these people, all these needs. In Your holy name we pray. Amen. Come on, can we continue to worship this morning? Can we continue to reach out this morning? Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm telling you, I, I feel a weighty presence of the Lord in this place this morning. And there was a, I, I don't know if it was pastor or another preacher, but I remember hearing a preacher preach one time about King Saul and how King Saul was not killed by his own sword. But he was killed by the sword that refused to kill King Agag. Because the Lord had spoken to Saul and he said, when you take the city, I want you to kill all of them, kill the king, kill everything. And yet Saul spared King Agag. And, the, and it was at that moment that the Spirit of the Lord left King Saul. And the, the, the preacher, he said, what you refuse to kill in your life will eventually kill you. And because King Saul refused to kill Agag, the sword that was meant to kill Agag ended up killing King Saul. And I know at church, I know we have a routine, and, and normally it's at the end of service, at altar call, when you, when you come and you lay your burdens before the Lord. But I, I'm telling you, I feel a weighty presence of the Lord right now in this place. And whatever it is, we're going to worship the Lord with another song. And whatever it is that God has told you to kill in your life, I urge you to come and leave it at the altar. Whatever it is that God has been dealing with you with, and God has been telling you, you got to lay it down. You got to kill it. You got to get rid of it. You better kill it before it kills you. You better get rid of it. You better throw it out. You better burn it. Because if you don't get rid of it, whatever it is that you are meant to kill will eventually kill you. This morning, we're going to sing, we're going to worship, but whatever it is that you have in your life this morning that God has been telling you to kill and to get rid of, I urge you to come to the altar. We've got elders that will pray with you, but come to the altar this morning and kill it before it kills you. There's an endless song echoes in my soul. I hear the music ring. And though the storms may come, I am holding on and to the rock. I clean How can I keep from 
singing your praise. How can I ever say enough? How amazing is your love? How can I keep from shouting your name? No, I am loved by the King, and it makes my heart want to sing. I will lift my eyes in the darkest night, for I know my Savior lives. And I will walk with you, knowing you see me through and sing the songs you give. How can I keep from singing praise? How can I ever say enough? How amazing is your love? How can I keep from shouting your name. I know I am loved by the King, and it makes my heart want to sing. And I can sing in the troubled times, sing when I win. I can sing when I lose my step and I fall down again I can sing cause you pick me up sing cause you're there I can sing cause you hear me Lord when I call to you in prayer I can sing with my last breath sing for I know that I sing where the angels, the saints around the throne. How can I keep from singing your praise? How can I ever say enough? How amazing is your love? Shout in your name. I know I am loved by the King, and it makes my heart want to sing. Come on, give him some praise this morning. Ooh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm, Sister Taylor is going to come and sing this morning if she'll come up here. And the band, whoever it is that's going to sing this morning. Come on, give them some honor as they come this morning. Ooh, Jesus, Jesus. Come on, give, them a, give the Lord a hand clap of praise this morning.
Oh, give him some honor this morning. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Come on, give him some praise this morning. Oh, if we can have our ushers come this morning. Mm, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm, Lord, we praise you this morning. We praise you. How many of you feel the presence of the Lord in this house this morning? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we praise you, Father. We praise you. If you will, if you'll stand this morning, get your tithes and your offerings ready. And Sister Linda, if you will, pray over the tithes and offering this morning. Come this morning, be a cheerful giver to the Lord. As I journey through the land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the crimson flow, many arrows pierce my soul from without regret. But my Lord leads me on through him I must win Oh, I want to see him look upon his face There's sing forever of his saving grace On the streets of glory let me lift my voice His all power all mine ever to rejoice When in service for my Lord dark may be the night but I'll cling more close to him, he will give me light. Since his earth may makes my soul turn my thoughts aside. But my Lord goes ahead, lives on every time. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face. Glad to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Here's all power. 
this home at last, there's a two green toes. When in valleys low I look toward the mountain high, and behold my Savior there leaning in the fight, with a tender hand I stretch toward the valley low. I want to see him look upon his face That sing forever on the saving grace On the streets of glory let me lift my voice In my path home at last never to rejoice When the foam billows rise from the mighty deep Then my Lord directs my bark, he will save the key and he leads me gently on through this world below. He's a real friend to me, oh, I love him so. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face. That sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me live my voice. Here's all my home at last, ever to rejoice. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face. I'd sing forever of His saving grace On the streets of glory, let me live my voice Here's all past, hope at last, give it to me joy Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus! Thank Come on, can we give the Lord some praise this morning? Hallelujah! Come on, can somebody lift their voice and give Him some praise this morning? Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus! Oh, man, isn't God good? Oh, come on, isn't he good this morning? Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know, I was thinking uh, every time, I don't know how many of you were here when Grandpa Louis died in service twice. And every time it happened, though, the entire service stopped. We just, we quit. There was no more singing. There was no more, there was any, nothing. The service was finished. And, you know, as I, I was sitting there thinking about that, how important that was to us that we stopped everything to make sure that he was okay. And when I look over here and I see Brother Allen praying and reaching out to the Lord, that is infinitely more important than even what happened to Grandpa because what he's dealing with here is eternal. And, oh, man, I'm telling you, I'm so thankful this morning that people know that this isn't a house where you just come and sit, but that you can find healing, that you can find restoration, that you can find deliverance because we know that there is no name greater than the name of Jesus. We know that he's still healing, that he's still delivering, that he's still setting the captive free this morning. Come on, give God some praise this morning. Give him some praise this morning. Jeez. Thank you, son. Come on, amen. Amen. Can you love the Lord for a moment? Amen. Can you love the Lord for a moment? That means can you give God some praise and hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Sister Gargas. You've been on my heart all morning, so we're going to pray for you, all right? Come on out of here and let us pray for you this morning. How many of you put your hand this way and let's pray for this precious woman this morning? Huh? Come on, I want to hear you help me pray, church, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead, sister. The Holy Ghost is all already on you. I see him. Go ahead and lift your hands and let the Spirit of the Lord do the work. I'm just a man. I can't do anything, but the Spirit of the Lord can. And whatever came in with you this morning, that heaviness and and that I just I feel a heaviness on you and, and I believe the Lord's lifting that off of you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus amen you don't have to worry sister God's already, already got a plan for you he knows how it's going to work out trust him moment by moment he's going to work it for your good I said the Lord is going to work it for your good in the name of the Lord Jesus Mm, hallelujah hallelujah come on the Holy Ghost is doing a work right here the Holy Ghost the Spirit of the Lord is doing a work right here can you lift your voice and begin to praise the Lord sister that's it can you lift your voice and begin to praise him oh help me church don't let it get quiet now hallelujah can you lift your voice and begin to praise him that's it come on that's it go ahead and praise him this morning 
Hallelujah, that's it. I tell you, the Holy Ghost should do more right now in this few seconds than what's happened the whole service. Go ahead, don't quench that. Don't quench that. Yeah, don't quench that. That's the Holy Ghost. Let him have his way. That's beautiful, sister. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead in the name of Jesus. Do you receive that from the Lord this morning? Huh? Well, come on. Let's get out of that. That was sitting right there on you. It ain't coming with you, all right? It's staying right there. Come on. Love the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Peace, Lord. Peace. And Lord, let her feel lighter right now in her body as an evidence that that burden's being lifted off of her this morning. Now, sister, there's so much peace on you right now, I bet you could go to sleep like a baby. You feel that? I feel it. I feel the peace of the Holy Ghost. You feel that? You receive that from the Lord? Huh? You do? Yeah, go ahead. Thank him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah, go ahead. Hallelujah. This is what church is all about, isn't it, church? Huh? Can you love the Lord? Hallelujah. Yeah, I like that right there. I like that right there. I like that right there. Amen. I like that right there. Woo, glory to God in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, in the name of Jesus. You may be seated here in the presence of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Ooh, man, there's so much glory in here this morning. I feel the Holy Ghost. Travis, ooh, I felt the power of the Lord. I tell you, whew, my body hasn't shaked like that in a long time, brother. But I'm telling you, when I first got the Holy Ghost, I wasn't speaking in tongues. I couldn't, I didn't speak in tongues. But my whole body just vibrated. I mean, <laughs> I mean, and finally it vibrated right out of my mouth and I was talking in tongues. But for a long time, I would just vibrate. And man, this morning, the glory of the Lord was just, woo. I mean, my, woo, I just felt the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo, glory to God, glory to God. Amen. Well, I got a word I want to I want to try to preach this morning, but I want to make sure we we sit down and let the Holy Ghost do what he wants to do this morning. Huh? I said we want to make sure the Holy Ghost I don't want to just preach because I got to preach. Amen. Can I preach Holy Ghost or you want to do something else? Amen. Come on, lift your hands up and love the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, if you feel a tongues and interpretation, release it. If you feel a word of prophecy, release it. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Mm, in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, I'm going to say something to you. And then I'm going to try to give this message to you. If you would do that before you get in trouble, you wouldn't get in trouble. My Lord, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Can you stand and love the Lord for a moment? And then I'm going to do my best to preach this. But man, I feel the Holy Ghost all over me. Oh, 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 whew, oh. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, sir. Lift your praise to the Lord. Come on, good sister. Lift your voice to the Lord. Lift your praise to the Lord. Oh, 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 thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord 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 Jesus. 
Oh, come on, somebody help pastor for a moment. I'm trying to get where I can preach. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Woo. Hallelujah. 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 Woo. Oh, hallelujah. Oh. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Nicola Monique, I am a holy God of my Adania. Somebody ought to dive in for a moment. You ought to dive in. I'm telling you, I'd forget about everything else. I'd dive into that Holy Ghost for a moment. I'd dive into the glory of the Lord that's here. Come on, I got a word. I'm going to do my best to preach it. But right now, I would dive in that Holy Ghost right now. Hallelujah. If you got a need in your life or you want to be refilled with the Spirit of the Lord, it's here. You need to dive into that glory right now. Hallelujah. Don't do what you've always done. You need to move now. Come on, that water's being stirred. and You need to get in that water. You need to get in the glory of the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Lord, you need to lift your praise. Come on. This is your moment. I'm telling you, I believe with all my heart there's a miracle in the house. There's restoration in the house. There's deliverance in the house. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, if you'll move, God's going to meet you. If you will move, God's going to meet you. If you will move, God said, I'm going to meet them. I said, if you'll move right now, God's going to meet you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I never was sick in the under of a high shakara babadia. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Come on, if you believe it, he'll give it to you. If you can believe God for healing, you can get it. Come on, if you can believe God for deliverance, you can receive it right now. Right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now, healing, restoration, right now. If you can believe it, receive it. <clears throat> that's it, move, that's it, move, that's it. Come on, lift your praise. Come on, lift your praise. The Holy Ghost is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Come 
Come on, the glory of the Lord is here. 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 Come on, hallelujah. The glory of the Lord is here. Hallelujah. Come on, the glory of the Lord is here. Hallelujah. The glory of the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. The glory of the Lord is here. The glory of the Lord. The glory. The glory of the Lord. Glory of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, those who don't have the Holy Ghost, if you'll step out, God give you the Holy Ghost this morning. Come on, if you haven't spoken tongues, God will give you. I'm telling you, that he'll fill you with the Holy Ghost this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, somebody help me worship just for a moment. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You want the Holy Ghost this morning? Lift your hands, brother. Lift your hands and begin to begin to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. He's on your, I see him on your face right now, brother. The, the, that's the Holy Ghost that you're feeling right there is the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now open your mouth and begin to praise him, brother. I don't know your name, but open your mouth and begin to praise him. That's it. Open your mouth and begin to praise him. That's the Holy Ghost right there. I see him all on your face. I can see the Holy, I can see the Holy Ghost on his countenance. That's the anointing of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you'll open your mouth, you'll begin to speak in tongues, brother. The Holy Ghost is on you. The Spirit of the Lord is on you this morning. The Spirit of the Lord is on you. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, church. Hallelujah. This ain't a time to get quiet, church. Hallelujah. 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 There ought to be somebody else stepping out saying, I want the Holy Ghost this morning. Whew. Go ahead. Don't quench that Holy Ghost. I hear you. Come on. Don't quench that Holy Ghost, church. Come on. Don't quench that Holy Ghost, church. Hallelujah. Don't quench that Holy Ghost, church. Hallelujah. Don't quench that Holy Ghost, church. Whew. Whew. My, 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 my. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you, the anointing of the Lord's on that young man. You can see it on his face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's shining. You can see the glory of the Lord on him. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. Give that to the Lord. Give that burden to the Lord right there. That thing that you feel like kind of weighing you down, just confess. Give that to the Lord. Give that to the Lord Jesus right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, forgive him of his sins this morning. Come on, surrender your heart. The Holy Ghost is on you. Hallelujah. Just, uh, just yield to it. Just surrender to it. That's the Holy Ghost. Somebody help me, church. Hallelujah. You feel the Lord? Yeah, I can tell. I can, it's on your face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What you Hallelujah. Richard, brother, it's good to meet you this morning. Good to meet you. Big, strong guy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and just love the Lord. He's on you. Don't, don't let that lift off. Yeah, don't let it lift off. This is what you came for. 
Hallelujah. This is what you came for. Hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. 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 Feel better? You feel the Lord? Huh? Yeah. The, the anointing zone, you can see it all on your face. And the more you praise him, you'll be speaking in tongues. The Holy Ghost just pray right through you. All right? All right, I want to pray for you. you. Are you a Christian? Have you repented of your sins, been baptized? And not been baptized? Well, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. So you need to be water baptized. We got a baptism this morning. And if you're a Christian and you've given your heart to the Lord, well, today's the day to be baptized then. All right? All right. So, Richard, I want to pray for you one more time. God's doing a wonderful work in your life. You have felt the presence of the Lord this morning, and that's not going to leave you. You're going to continue to walk in that, and that anointing is going to go with you out of here, all right? Lift your hands to the Lord one more time and receive. Father, thank you for what you're doing in Richard's life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Woo, there it is again. I feel him shaking. Come on, somebody. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. I feel him shaking. The Holy Ghost is on him. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Lift your praise to the Lord. Somebody help him praise the Lord this morning. Somebody help him praise the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. That's good stuff, Lord. Come on, man. Thank you, Jesus. All right. All right. How you feel? You feel great. Glory to God. Well, I said he said he feels great. Come on, somebody. You get the Holy Ghost? I said, did you get the Holy Ghost this morning? Huh? Oh, you had the Holy Ghost? Oh, we give God praise. Do what? Oh, I didn't. Well, with your hair like that, I'm saying, no, I didn't know who you were. You guys change your hair so much, you got to. Hey, you're going to have to put a sign up, Pastor. It's me. Good thing you ain't got no Doberman Peacher. <laughs> glory to God. Hey, Sister Nicole, in this glory, let us pray for you. Come on down here. If you don't mind, come on, good sister. Is this all right this morning? I'm sorry. I'm so glad you're here this morning. I'm so glad you're here this morning. God bless you. I am glad you're here. You get what you need. You feel the Lord? Feel the Lord? Good. All the way here. Good. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Ah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, there's too much glory to be moving for you not to get what you need this morning. All right. Where are you going? You're going right here. Okay. Well, all right. Amen. Glory to God. Woo. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Come on, sister. Jump in here. In the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, church. We got to help the Holy Ghost with some praise and some worship. And... <clears throat> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, we just going to sit back and let the Holy Ghost do His work this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, glory, 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 glory. Come on, hallelujah, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hey, I'm not trying to be dramatic, but I'm telling you, there's someone tuning in. You need to get on here to church right now. Get in your car and get here. I'm just telling you, there's somebody too. You need to get here quick. Woo, glory. All right, sister. All right. I want to pray for you now. 
Are you ready? Now, Lord Jesus, this tormenting spirit that's been on this sister trying to smother her, I command it off of her now through the authority of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lungs open, peace in your mind and in your spirit through the power of Jesus' name. Hey, look at her face. Look, at look, look. You can see it on her face. You see that? You see that? Uh, sister, that's the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, you look different right now than when you walk down them steps. You see that glory? The glory of the Lord is on you, sister. You can see it on your face. Come on, somebody ought to praise God. That's it. That's it. Go ahead. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh my God. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the glory of the Lord. Woo! That's it. Don't quench that. That's it. Go ahead, sister. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Somebody run down here real quick and look at her face. Somebody come here, Brother Bob, real quick. Look, you can see it all on her face. Go ahead, sister. Look at her face. Look at that piece. You see that? See, there was darkness on her when she came down them stairs. Look at her face. You see that glory? That's the glory of the Lord. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Go ahead, sister. Go ahead. Hey, she's smiling from ear to ear. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. Go ahead. Lay hands on her there, sister. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Man, what has happened in this place this morning? Huh? Can you give the Lord some praise for that? How you feel, Sister Nicole? How you feel? You feel good? It's going to walk out of here with you. It's going to get in the car with you. And it's going to go home with you. It is going to go home with you. It is going home with you. In the name of Jesus. Someone say amen. Wow. Wow. You guys can be seated if you can. Wow. Wow. Hey, Brother Brian, just lift your hands, brother, and talk in tongues for a minute. Can you do that? Just lift your hands and talk in tongues. Yeah, you can. You can. Yep. Just lift your hands and talk in tongues boldly and fluently. Don't quench the Holy Ghost. I mean just talk in tongues as the Spirit of God gives the utterance. I mean like a lion. I want you to roar like a lion in the name of Jesus. I want you to roar like a lion. I can't hear you. You ain't a mouse. You're a lion. Because, because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. 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 That's it. I want to hear you, brother. Speak it out in the name of Jesus. 
Come on, speak it out in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I'm telling you, if you'll get crazy in that right there, I mean, just let it flow. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Come on, give God some praise. Help me. Hallelujah. 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 Is he speaking in tongues there? I can't hear him. Amen. Speak louder, brother. Louder, 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 louder. Come on, louder. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who glory to God. Who glory to God. Well, in the name of Jesus. Now, what do I do, Lord? Because I don't want to take away what you've done this morning. Yeah, go ahead, Elder. Go ahead. Hikali di di ano la baboshi, kiti di ano kala babosu di di ano kana mama niya. Hmm. Hallelujah. 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 My goodness, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. That's it, that stopper's coming off, Brother Brian. The devil been putting a stopper on that wheel. He been trying to put a stopper in that wheel, amen. But that stopper's being pulled out by the Holy Ghost and by prayer and by praise. And come on, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Hallelujah, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Come on, I, it's just like a stopper in a bathtub. Oh, glory to God. Woo, that thing's coming out and that Holy Ghost is coming out. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, my. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you imagine a first-time visitor this morning? <laughs> Thank you. What kind of church is this? <laughs> oh my goodness. I said, that preacher, he don't even preach. I don't know what he's doing. I don't even know if he can preach. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, let's do this. I, I'm not going. I'm not going to preach to you. I'm going to give you my thought in a nutshell. I see some of you are already making bets right now. I bet he can't do it. I bet he can't do it. I got five on that. I got ten. <laughs> um. And then we got a baptism this morning. Uh, Joshua, I don't know why that is the hardest name for me to say. Help me. Huh? Josh. You can't say it either. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Josh. Josh. Lynn. Josh Lynn. Still hard. My tongue's too fat, brother. That's the problem. Jo yeah, okay, I got it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> She's being baptized this morning. And is Richard still in the house? How you feel? You, you, I mean, it's on you, brother. You ready to go? Well, we're ready. We got the water ready for you this morning. So we want to get you down in the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm so glad you're here this morning. God bless you. Um, I wanted to talk to you this morning on what is revival and I wanted us to get a picture of real biblical revival because if you think revival looks this way a certain way 
And then when revival comes, if it doesn't look that way, you won't realize we're having revival and we won't flow in it. And I was thinking about the church of Ahab and the church of Elijah in the Old Testament. And when you look at those churches, you know, you look and you think the church of Ahab was the one that was having revival. Because number one, he had the most members. Remember, 450 false prophets. And, and in their church, there was leaping and dancing because the Bible said they were leaping on the altar. So if you visited Ahab's church, man, it's a big church, a lot of people. And you got a lot of people leaping on the altar. And it, they, the Bible said that they were prophesying. So they're giving words and God's going to do this and God's going to do this. And I'm sure they are prophesying the fire's coming, the fire's coming, revival's coming. I mean, you know, I mean, if you walk into Ahab's church, you're going to be, whoo, this is good stuff right here. It also says that on, in Ahab's church that they were leaping on the altar. They were prophesying. And there was a show going on because they were cutting themselves. And the Bible said that blood was gushing down on the altar. So can you imagine? I mean, I mean, the kids and everybody's, wow, look at this. This is crazy. They cried aloud. So when you looked at the church of Ahab, I mean, you think there's revival there. And you had a lot of activity, a lot of praise, a lot of leaping. But there was no fire in Ahab's church. No fire. Now let's look at Elijah's church. Poor little old minister. Not a big congregation. <laughs> oh, Ahab had 450 just in the ministry. Oh, Elijah is just him. <laughs> just him in the little old altar. There was no leaping. Think about it. There was no leaping. There was no prophesying in Elijah's church. Think about it now for a moment. I mean, if you compare the two churches, I mean, honestly, both of us say, man, Ahab's, that's the place where it's happening. At Elijah's church, you got a little minister, a handful of people, no leaping, no prophesying, and there was no show. There was nobody cutting themselves, nobody bleeding, there was no show. But when that little preacher prayed, the fire fell. Revival came. God opened the heavens and poured out the rain. A whole nation was turned around because of this preacher that prayed and the fire fell. And that's the kind of revival that we're after in Solid Rock Church. Don't want just activities. Don't want just programs. Don't want just singing in a sermon. Don't want things that look like a lot of activity. People shouting and dancing and all that. And, and, and you know we believe in all every bit of that. But we want the fire of the Holy Ghost to fall in this church. That's what we're after. We want the fire to fall. Someone say amen to that. And here I am going to preach what does revival look like. And I believe with all my heart that revival looks like what's happening here right now in this service. <laughs> people being renewed. People be being filled with the Holy Ghost. Devils being cast out. People being baptized in Jesus' name. People being filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is what revival looks like. Now, if we're not careful, now, now understand, and I'm not going to name no names, and I'm through. This was a nutshell. I'm finished. But we look at these mega churches, and I can name them, that in my heart, I think, man, I wish we had that. 
I, I, I wish we could do that. Man, they got 450 ministers. <laughs> they got leaping and blood gushing out. But how many of you know you can have all of that? And not? Listen, it's not revival if you shout and leave the same way. I was telling Maddie what I was preaching, and so, and, I, and actually I was struggling when I was trying to get all these thoughts together. It's a nutshell. And, and I was struggling getting all this. And so Maddie called me, and I started telling her what I was trying to get together. And, and, and I, I ran this by her, and, and, and she said, oh, yeah, you need to say that. So I'm going to say it. If you come in a whoremonger, and you twirl around and dance and shout, and you leave a whoremonger, that's not revival. If you come in with the devil on you and you sing a few songs and lift your hands and talk in tongues, but you leave with the same devil on you, that ain't revival. Real revival, listen, it will transform the lives of people. And that's what we're after in this church. Where when people come in, they don't leave the same way. Amen. Why? Because the fire has fell at the end of Heron Street. And we're seeing an apostolic revival. We're seeing a move of God. The lives of people are being transformed by the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Now, I, I, I'm through. We're getting ready to baptize. But you need to make sure you're in alignment with... The picture of revival. This is revival. This, what's happening this morning. And I believe it's what, you know, and, and that's the reason I, want, I, I really didn't want to preach is because I, 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 don't want, I don't want to go on with our program. Here the Holy Ghost trying to do something and we say, oh no, wait, here's what the program says. Forget the program. Well, uh, forget the program. Holy Ghost, you come on. And we'll follow you. We'll follow your lead. Someone say amen to that. We're after the fire. Three things very quickly that you got to have for a move. Number one, you got to have a praying church. They prayed in Acts chapter 1. They prayed 10 days before the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. They prayed in Acts chapter 6, Acts chapter 8. Cornelius was praying in Acts chapter 10 when this whole household got saved. Um, you can go, uh, Acts chapter 9, uh, the, 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 whole, the, the whole thing's filled with prayer. If my people is called by my name, we got to have a praying church. And, and please help me, and, and please understand, and, and, and I know, and, and you know, I'm thankful that we're here. But I believe that we'll go to the next level if we can get here a little early to pray in that prayer room. And it's got to mean, revival's got to mean something to us. We got to want it, church. We can't wait until we got casualties and it's your family or it's your husband or your wife or your kids. And so, oh, man, we got to pray. No, I believe we'll pray like Alan was praying this morning. If we'll pray like Alan was praying, it'll keep us from a lot of that hell that. <clears throat> Number two, there was unity. We got to get unified in this church. Now, I don't want the Holy Ghost. I'll stop right here because I don't want to quench, uh, you know. Oh, thank you. He said, just because I quenched the spirit of the people don't mean I quenched his spirit. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> we got to get unified in the church. Because you got too many people doing their own thing. You come to prayer. When, you, when we call prayer meeting, most of you don't show up. Now, now, if you belong to Solid Rock Church, I'm talking to you. All right? I'm not talking to visitors. I'm not talking to people who just casually decide. You ain't married us. You're just dating us. You know? I said, well... Before I put a ring on it, I want to come to you. That's fine. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people who have married to what we're doing here. 
Do you know what would happen if we get unified in our praise and we get unified in our prayer and we get unified in our commitment and our faithfulness? That every time the church is doing something, you're a part of it and, and we're moving all in the same direction and uh, revival comes. That revival comes when a church is unified. And listen, I, I, I got to quit. The devil has told you that you're not important, your commitment's not important, it doesn't matter whether you show up or not, but I want to serve notice on that line spirit. It is a lie. God placed you here because we need your gift, we need your anointing, we need you. Stand to your feet and give God praise. I, I'm, I, They were in one mind, one accord, and in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a mighty rushing wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. They were in one mind, in one accord, in one place. Come on, somebody. Oh, God. We want the fire of the Holy Ghost in this church. We want the fire of the Holy Ghost. We want the gifts of the Spirit. We want to see the lives of people transformed and changed. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. The third thing, and I'm through. They went from house to house. We got to get this in our house. We got to get prayer in our house. We got to get praise in our house. We got to get preaching in our house. You, you got to create an atmosphere where the devil don't want to be in your home. And if he walks out, let him walk out. If she don't want to come over no more, well, do what you want. But we're going to build a fire that will drive the devil out. We're going to start a fire in our home. It's going to spread from house to house. And when we get our homes on fire, you ain't got to worry about the church. The church is going to be on fire. We get revival in the home. There will be revival in the church. Someone say amen. Oh, let's thank God for what he's done here this morning. Let's thank God for what he's done here this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Brother Shelton and Brother Jeremy, Zach, and you guys come on up here and praise God. Amen, amen, amen. Brother Travis and, and uh, is your wife? Yeah. Get, you guys want to get your grand? I'm sorry, I didn't see you, darling. Uh, you want to get your granddaughter and take her up there and get her changed? And, and uh, Brother Jimmy, where are you at? You want to take Richard? up there and get him changed and we'll get him ready to be baptized and I mean, anybody else need to be baptized this morning that ain't been baptized huh well I, <laughs> we'll baptize you if you're giving your heart to the Lord and you confess your sins you ready for water baptism did you have any idea this was going to happen come on man <laughs> that's how I came in just like that hallelujah Hallelujah. Yeah, just pull her out of that class and take her on up there. And tell her don't, die, don't dive in until I get there now. I don't want <laughs> Praise God. Whew. How many of you, while we're getting the baptism tank ready, how many of you will take a moment and, and just from your heart really begin to thank God for what he's done in this place this morning? And then take a moment. Maybe gather around the altar and pray and say, God, please give us revival. Our kids need revival. Our families need revival. The only hope for some of them is God to break that thing off of them. Oh, come on. God can heal it, can't he? can he heal a bitter heart? Amen. Amen. Everything the devil's destroyed, I believe God can heal that. I believe God can heal the relationship. Well, I said, I believe God can heal the relationship. He can rebuke back a spirit of bitterness and anger. 
Oh, glory to God. I stand on the prophet Joel. Amen. That what the canker worm has eaten, what the palmer worm has eaten, amen, what the locust has eaten, God said, I will restore the years. How many of you, church, will help me pray and Amen. Let's get the fire in us. Get the fire on us. Let's get committed to revival. Get committed to prayer. Get faithfulness in our life. Come on. Let, let this be the main thing in our life. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. We're going to give you a moment to pray and praise and however you feel. They're going to sing a few songs here. You can come up around the front. You can sit where you are. But amen. Just reach out to the Lord for a moment, please. Just look out there where I have been And just to think he took me in Oh Lord my God, how could it be That you could love someone like me Just look out there Baptizing the name, baptizing the name, baptizing. 
I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget no never. Well, Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget no day. Well, I fly away, oh glory. I fly away when I die. Though you buy and die.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
Good hard to keep up.